suppose this is top priority. What is the dot ye should? How can we get in contact with them? Anya, what do we know? Very little, but I have some ideas. Good. Anya, you take the lead on this. Blaskovich, whatever she needs, you help her find it, yeah? William, I could use your help. Could you come over here for a second? I found some interesting leads. This parchment describes um, a way to create a type of super concrete. This is what the Nazis have used to build all these concrete monstrosities around here. Yes. Everything, even this place. This is the only concrete they used. This is how they created all those, those cities so quickly. Now that we know where it comes from, I need a sample of it for a closer study. Can you look around here for a piece of exposed concrete that shows an outbreak of mold? It should be porous enough for you to cut me a sample. Whatever you need. Also, there was this encrypted list of Dat Yishut members in Poland during the war. I need to compare it with the official German state records on Jewish citizens in the years between 1939 and 1945. Can you see if those records are in the archives room? I'll get right on that. And there's uh, one more thing. Um, it's quite critical. What? That'll be all. We can go now. Spores coming from the vent. Where is the intake?
back, Captain Blast Goldfish. Howdy, cowboy. What the damn hell are you doing? Science project. Are well, you scaring Max? Sorry, pal. Didn't know we'd flip out like that. That his son? No. Well, kind of. I don't know. So not his son. Used to be Klaus had a son, born during the war. A miracle, he called it. They had tried for years to have a child, him and his wife. Yeah, well, he'd make a pretty good father for a Nazi. The child was born with a club foot. Klaus knew, of course, what that meant. He begged the doctors not to report it to the authorities. Then secret police showed up to take the boy away. Klaus and his wife tried to stop them. The wife died from a bullet to the head. The child, too. Klaus could not protect them. So he blames himself? I think so. And he will never forgive the Nazis. You need keys. <laughs> Idiot. I thought I had been there earlier. Stop staring. <laughs> he has keys. to the archives. You got him? Yeah. I'm on. 
down. Fuck! 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 You okay, Fergus? I'm getting old, Blazkowicz. I don't know how much longer I can keep doing this. We'll be all right. We can still get the job done. Aye? For how much longer? What's this about, Fergus? I don't know. Nothing. Everything. It's about that boy, goddammit. Private Wyatt. He should be here instead of me. He was young. He, he had potential. He could have given us a future. You and me were two fucking mummies from the past, running on nothing but willpower. I made the wrong choice. Oh, well, that's fucking obvious, isn't it? I was ready to die. I would have done it gladly. I worked my ass off to save that boy, Blazkowicz, and you fucking pissed it away on a whim. Remember Prendergast? That fucking kid, he could endure anything. Now he's gone. They're all fucking gone. And you're stuck with this useless fucking skeleton. I mean, tell me, what's the long-term solution, eh? Who's gonna take over when we're too damn battered to strap on the holsters anymore? Get the fuck out. I need a nap. Why are you so close? Your simian shadow is spreading my thinking. Getting stupider around you. But the equation made sense yesterday. I saw it with such clarity. Now it's <clears throat> oh, very empty. Must find it again.
Thank you, William. Give me some time to analyze this. I think I'm onto something. <laughs>